Hey there, thank you for watching this clip on simplifying and reducing two fractions. Let's get started. First thing we're going to do, we're going to factor this one. So this question has a lot of factoring involved. If this is not clear how to factor, you might want to pause the video, make sure you can review that one first. So here I have two numbers, one and a two. When I multiply them, I should get two. When I add them, I should get three. And minus over here, I should have two numbers. So when I have minus uh, plus one, minus two, when I multiply them, I get this one. When I add them, I'm going to get that one. Now this is minus two minus x. I'm going to pull the minus sign and make it into x minus two with a minus sign. The reason is when I simplify those things, minus signs often gives you trouble. So what I want to do is um, take care of minus sign as early as I can. So once again, all I did over here is pull the minus sign here. So minus x minus 2 is equal to minus x plus 2, which is exactly 2 minus x. Okay, so all I did is rewritten it. Then I'm going to be dealing with the plus sign. The plus sign is a lot more favorable in dealing anything involving this long complicated multiplication here. So I have a minus minus, so I have a plus sign. So I have x minus 2 here. x plus 1, x minus 2. Okay. From here, I'm going to do a common denominator because there's three terms, x plus 1, x plus 2, and x minus 2 that I need. x plus 1 on the bottom, x plus 2, x minus 2. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is copy whatever I had before, and I'll take a look at what I have on the bottom and figure out what's missing. x plus 1 is there, x plus 2 is here, x minus 2 is missing, so x minus 2 is here. Plus x minus 2 here, I'm going to do the same thing here. x plus 1 is here, x minus 2 here, so x plus 2 is missing. Okay. Now, let's write on the side. We have x minus 3 times x minus 2. If you multiply this one out, it's x squared minus 2x, and then minus 3x plus 6. Okay, so I have x squared minus 5x plus 6 for 1. And then I'm going to do another one, x squared minus 2 and plus 2. This one is simply a different square, so it's x squared minus 4. Okay, so that's Combining it over there, I have x squared minus 5x plus 6, and then plus x squared plus uh, minus 4, actually. Minus 4 here. And I'll write a common denominator over here for now. Okay, so common denominator is whatever I had over there to save some time. And then let's see, I have a 2x squared minus 5x plus 2, and then common denominator over here as well. Now, the top one is not easy to figure out, but it can be factored. Okay, if you're not familiar how to factor this one, you can look on the call it a triple play method, and then you can look on my channel here and type in triple play method, search for it. There's a whole bunch of video clips on how to do triple play factoring method. Anyway, the trick is when the coefficient is not 1, we pick factor 1, that's multiply the coefficient to the constant, which is 4. And then I have x minus 1, x minus 4 factored here. And when I come out of it, I'm going to have replace this x to 2x, whatever I had before. 2x minus 1, 2x minus 4, and then I'm going to divide it by Two to renormalize. Okay, so here, when I factor it, I'll have 2x minus 1 for one of them, and then x minus 2 for another one. Okay, and then I have x plus 1, let's put it back, x plus 2, and then x minus 2. x minus 2 cancels out, and then I have 2x minus 1 divided by x plus 1 times x plus 2. Okay, that's the final answer. So this one is not hard, but it is tedious. So the trick is really keep it simple, keep it clean. Once you keep it clean, you can find out where the errors are. And earlier you saw that when I try to open up this two polynomials here, I did it on the side so I don't mess up my work over here. 
All right, so final answer after simplifying a factor at the top, I have 2x minus 1 divided by x plus 2 and x plus 1. Hope this has been helpful to you. This is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. Join me on this channel for more updates. Together, we can conquer math. Until next time, have a confident day.